Hello, Appalachian Wastelanders and video game faithful. This is your video game Pope talking to you. You are watching the channel dedicated to the Fallout 76 Atomic Shop. It's Thursday, May 9th, 2019, and I'm coming to you semi-live, not quite live, almost live, from Memorial Parents Basement Studio with another Atomic Shop update. Okay, here's the plan for the video. First and foremost, I want to acknowledge the new Black Rider Power Armor skin. I'll definitely be doing an in-depth demo of that one in another video, so make sure you're subbed up with alerts on so you're guaranteed to get that update. In this video though, and as usual, we're going to go through the shop item by item, but this time we're also going to get into player vending. I'm going to show you how it all works and how to get everything started. We'll build the vending machine, we'll put some items up for sale, and then we're going to travel to another player's camp and actually buy something. It's going to be great. I was really impressed with this guy's camp I visited. After we finished all the featured items, I'm then going to show you some items you might have missed. These are items that were never in the featured section, so you likely didn't even know they were available. And don't forget that at any time, you can hit up one of the timestamps in the description, so feel free to go straight to what you want to see. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I'm filming this at about 3.30 on Wednesday, and I noticed that the limited time offers are now doing something very different. They used to run from 8 p.m. Eastern U.S. time to 8 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. Uh, it looks like now they're running maybe from 10 or 11 a.m. Because this 20-hour offer that I'm seeing here, this was not in the, the store you know, a few hours ago when I checked the game. So that's enough of an update on its own. I'm here to do the Ever Upwards update. Okay, Ever Upwards. Join the Pioneer Scouts today. Pioneer Scouts are the new faction. First item that we have here is the Keep Out Backpack. Strangers will know not to try and pickpocket your stuff with this Keep Out Box Backpack. So you can get that for 500 atoms. So my first question is, how do you get this backpack? Do you immediately have one in your inventory when you start the game? The answer is no. You have to do the Pioneer Scout quest line. I believe you have to get to the second rank. I think there's Tadpole and then something else. Whatever that next rank is, that's, what you, that's when you get the backpack. So, and this is, it doesn't even matter. You can buy this in the shop and you still won't have it. So just a little heads up there. Okay, vending. This is cool. Everybody's been waiting for this. Vending machine set. Give your vending machine a fresh coat of paint with these vending machine paint sets. So there's a lot going on in, in the, with vet player vending. Obviously, you've got a lot of ways to dress it up. We're going to take a look at those pictures, and then I'm going to show you how it works. Ah, dude man with a shopping cart. Okay, so if you're looking for this thing, you're going to want to scroll all the way over to Vendors. It's the fourth from the right. Right away, you can see that you can sell your items from your stash and you'll receive 90% of the sale price, which is kind of weird. Um, let me bring up the patch notes here. You will receive a notification whenever a player buys one of your items. 90% of the sale price will be added to your cap balance. This 10% fee has been designed to help maintain the health of the game's economy and mitigate inflation. So, I really don't know anything about that. I'm not an economist, let alone a games theory economist, but that seems kind of sketchy. It'd be really cool if we had more of an explanation, but I doubt we're gonna get one. All right, let's log into this bad boy. I'm looking through my inventory. I'm gonna set the price of this plan. And there it is. It's that simple. Then all you have to do is connect it to power, and I'll show you what that looks like on the map. And you can see, you know, here's somebody, he's got some ammo, weapons, mods. Look over here, we've got weapons, plans, mods. All right, so let's go to one. Oh, that's a neat that's a neat thing you can you can fast travel to them you don't need to have been in their area 
all the places in the game you have to have been there before. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna check out this one particular place. Wow. It is not bad. Nick's wonderful wares. Good job, Nick. This is looking cool. Um, first one I tried too. So look at this. All right, he's got he's got like a shop set up. He was ready for this. I mean, maybe he built this yesterday. I don't know. And we're gonna go right in. Let's see what he's got. Get some plans. Okay, I'm in, I'm in the full inventory. Let's move over to notes. Maybe some plans I want here. Could use. I think I could use some some potted plants. Very cool. Made my first purchase. This is a nice room he's got here. Employees only. Yeah, I'm going in there. Come on. Who do you think I am? Ah, uh -huh. so this is the factory. So after that, I basically go around snooping around Nick's place. I'm going to spare you that. Let's get back to the shop. Okay, so I'm going to go through the rest of these featured items and then stick around because after that I'm going to show you the items that were never on the featured list. At least a couple from this release and a few from the past. Next up is the Pioneer Paint and that's for your black powder rifle. It's Pioneer Scout Black. Ever upwards you will shoot with this Pioneer Scout Black Powder Paint. That's cool, it's got a Pioneer Scout symbol there. What else? And you've got a scout paint for the lever action rifle. Put your wilderness survival skills to the test with this Pioneer Scout lever action rifle paint. That guy looks very get off my lawn, if you know what I mean. And then there's the wood grain camera paint. Handcrafted with care, love, and the wood of quickly disappearing endangered tree species. The wood grain camera paint is the perfect addition to your camera. You also have the well-traveled paint for your Pip-Boy. Show off your wasteland travels with the well-traveled paint. This is very cool. It's very much evoking a suitcase that has a bunch of, you know, places stamped on it. Last one we have is the globe lamp. Antique globe lamp. Be the light of the world with this antique globe lamp. 200 caps for this. Not bad. Not bad for 200. We definitely need more things to decorate our tables with since we can't just, you know, place anything. And next I want to show you the things that are not in the featured list. So a lot of times the featured list, I guess, gets too crowded, so they don't want to put too many things in there and there are new items that show up below. I used to do videos of, of every single section, but that kind of got overwhelming because then it was like I was doing a video for a section, but only like one or two items were showing up in it. Uh, so here I'm just gonna go and show you uh, what it is that I see that's not in the featured section. So of course, here's a free item. You're not gonna wanna miss this, Pioneer Scouts poster. It's a recruiting poster. Join the Pioneer Scouts today. Interacting with this poster will begin the quest the Order of the Tadpole. So that's the quest you do to get the backpack. And it's free to unlock. So you're going to want to pick that up. Alright, what else do we have here that's not showing up? There's the running machine set. One more item, I'm pretty sure. Ah, here it is. My Personal Terminal. My Personal Terminal makes important information easily accessible inside your camp. Access daily quests, connect with other wastelanders, and get important news about Appalachia. So that's an item that you're not going to want to miss. I assume it's going to be in the store forever, but you know, just in case, here it is. Don't forget. 
So that's it for the, the new items for this update. There are actually some other items I've been meaning to do a video about, about like what doesn't show up in the featured list, and I just want to show you a few of them real quick. So this was from last week, the light bulb letter set. It wasn't in the featured list. If you didn't come down to the camp section, you wouldn't have seen it. What else? Metal stairs. This was not, this was probably maybe a month ago, so I'm a little slow to this, but it hasn't gone anywhere. Um, and it, it wasn't a limited time item, so I wasn't too worried about it. But um, you can get the metal stairs uh, for your camp. Also these striped planks. These were never in the featured section. What else? What else? I know there's more. I don't think the Nuka Shine workbench was in there. I'll have to go check my own video, but I'm pretty sure this wasn't in the feature section. And then there were a couple in the skins. Let's go take a look. None of the Power Armor skins, those always appear in the feature section. Ah uh, yeah, Modern Paint for the pickaxe. I'm not sure when this popped up, but it was never featured, so you might have missed it. Okay, so he's got the, the Nuka Shine cap there, so it probably came in with, with the Nuka Shine hat. What else? So, oh yeah, and there's the Super Mutant paint for the for the Super Sledge. This was never in the featured section. Okay, that is everything. Let's go ahead and shut this thing down. And you almost missed it. You almost had some serious FOMO on your hands. Well, you are right to fear the missing out. Make sure you're subscribed so you let me handle watching the store for you. Okay, I got video games to play. Thanks again. Hope out.